Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Seoul. Today, once again, we're doing some kinesiology taping on the knee. Uh, today's subject will be the ever exciting swollen knee, or we got edema or swelling of the knee. So for uh, whether it's like twisted or through medication or whatever, uh, re knee replacement, things of that nature, it can cause the knee to swell. You'll get like extra heat in the area and that sort of thing can cause uh, discomfort and slow down the process of circulation as well. So this is to kind of increase that, that fluid movement uh, out of the area and to, uh, to kind of lessen the effect of the swelling. So that's what today's is. I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. So I don't have any swelling obviously, but um, just play along as if it is. You're going to need some high quality tape for this, uh, a pair of your favorite trusty scissors or um, if you've got really sharp teeth, I guess you could do that, but I don't kind of recommend against that. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, you wanna get like a high quality tape. Uh, I've got a, a trainer bulk roll here, large roll from Mobility Tape. That's kind of my go-to nowadays. Uh, if you're new to taping, there I've got videos on the Northern Soul channel, um, because somebody's gonna ask, so I might as well just get this out of the way. Um, go there, check out my um, what is kinesiology tape, how do you use it and all that stuff. I've got a video on that for the basics and also I've got head-to-head -head competition of different tape brands. So those of you that haven't seen that or are not familiar with that there's more brands out there, it's not just one size fits all, uh, go check that out and you'll see which tape is maybe better for you. They're not created equal, they really aren't. So. Um, check that out you think you might find that really helpful I know I was is a bit of an eye-opener for me but let's get started on the the taping I know some of you're gonna get to uh, like get on with it uh, because you're impatient and it's free anyways okay so you're gonna have swelling here what I want to do is I want to divert naturally your swelling and anything that kind of escapes the blood vessel as far as plasma into the interstitial fluid that needs to get taken out kind of by a drainage system which is known as the lymph system now the lymph system has its own kind of like veins that they act kind of like uh, uh, highways of tubules that uh, go towards a node the node there is one behind the knee the popliteal node that's more for if you have like ankle swelling and that you would direct that taping towards the back of the knee but if it's the knee, then you want to move it up to the system so that eventually it ends up getting recycled back into the heart uh, and then through your circulatory system. So this is all information you kind of need to know so you can understand why we're taping in a certain way and why we're that way you'll get it. Uh, so we want to tape towards the inguinal node. All right, um, I'm just going to throw my crotch into the camera because that's how we, we'll just call it dancing. Um, so we'll want to you have a crease into the thigh where the leg attaches man this is not going to be really technical because whatever it's what it is okay so awkward for me all right just as awkward as a watch but there's a crease right in where the leg connects into the torso or the pelvic area and in there is where the the lymph nodes are so you're going to want to pump that sounds really wrong but just trust me on this once you get into the medical profession, everything sounds wrong. So we just kind of get used to it. If you're not into it, then you're like, just roll with it, all right? Uh, and then you just kind of press uh, six to 12 times. You're just gonna pump it, you're priming it. So you push out the fluid from the nodes and it, that creates space. And so the fluid down here can then progress up to it, which we're going to guide with tape, okay? So that's the idea behind it. So we're always kind of moving towards the inner thigh I hope to never have to present that again in public. Um, we'll see if I'm going to even uh, upload this because that was just weird. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the taping. So I want to go just below uh, this bump here. And my legs are furry and stuff like that. You may wish to shave, or if you're like me, I ain't shaving because that's just weird. But if you've already done that, that's fine. Um, waxing all that stuff is ideal if you have a high quality tape and this is why you need a high quality tape it'll stick pretty much anyways as long as it's a clean surface right um so after a tough mutter probably not the best time to do it before absolutely okay so i'm just going to measure out and we're going to head towards the inner thigh as i mentioned before go ahead and cut that so we're going to need four strips 
I'm gonna cut one over here. So there's gonna be two on each side, kind of over the knee. We're gonna go across the knee, you'll see how it is. And inner thigh, I'm not gonna go all the way up because it's not necessary. It's not necessarily necessary. Oh, anyway, uh, let's go on. I'm gonna just grab a different color here for contrast. Uh, okay, let's do another measurement. <clears throat> and across the front like that okay it's not an exact science so um, it's one of those things just go ahead and kind of roughly measure it. it'll do we're going to cut this into strips so typically i like to cut it into um, this is a two inch wide or five centimeter wide strip this is a standard width for these sort of tapes i'm going to cut it into four strips so each one's going to be four there's a lot of cutting involved here anyways we're going to continue here more cotton. Okay, so you're going to cut your four strips like that. Okay, so we've uh, cut all the strips. There's a lot of strips going on here, obviously. And you want to round off the ends if you want to do A+. plus. You don't have to but I think it's a good idea. You get those square corners and it kind of just catches and it the stuff like this becomes a bit delicate and it comes off like so quick. And once it unsticks, it never, it never quite uh, sticks back again. It's a one and done sort of thing. So I'm just start collecting these onto my knee here. Uh, it's kind of a time intensive kind of like a uh, process it takes up quite a bit of your time but uh, well worth it by the end okay and through the miracle and magic of editing I've managed to cut all these strips it's taken me um, I've had to shave again uh, by the time I got this finished um, so there's it's two two strips of each color so a total of four strip eye beams like eye strips like that cut into four strips each just in case you uh, had to go to the bathroom during that so it's like that and I've cut them into strips so I've already done that rounded off the ends and I'm ready to demonstrate here finally how to do this so I'm just gonna place this down here you can you don't have to have different colors the colors don't mean anything for those of you that are wondering and let's start do so I do a little bit differently usually there's an end here that they just cut up into and then round off so it kind of holds the end I do it differently I find it it's just really weird and awkward to finish with that um, anybody who's done that knows what I'm talking about you get strips that end up further than the other ones because it, you're using like a cornering method so the inside curve uh, takes less space ends up being longer than the outside curve ends up being short so sometimes you don't hit the marks but if I split them up like this and that's why if you're wondering if it's a bit different uh, don't just rage comment you can do whatever you want but for those of you that are, two of you that are going to try to do that and tell me i'm doing it wrong go make your own video and let me critique that actually I'm, i don't even care I'm, I'm definitely not interested all right let's go let's get started so i'm going to bring everything's about bringing the swelling over into the inner thigh so i'm just going to start with the outside because why not so I want to bring, what I'm going to do is sweep it around. So hopefully you can see that. Yeah, okay. And I want to bring it kind of over the kneecap a little bit. There's, you know, usually don't get a ton of swelling over the actual patella. But, oh, that feels so good. Just kidding, I'm just uh, adding that comment because I think it's mildly inappropriate. Uh, so I'm just breaking at the top, trying not to touch the glue, the adhesive, uh, with my fingers, because, uh, you know, if you've got dirty paws, then uh, you're going to put some of that stuff on the adhesive. It's not going to stick very well. So I'm just going to guide it along kind of thing. And as I'm guiding it, I'm pulling uh, the backing off. Hopefully you can see that and always pointing towards so you can see it's a little bit more even that's not even but whatever it's kind of like that there we go but uh, the lengths are even because i didn't cut it where it's stuck together 
because they're individual pieces. So right around there. I just want to take the swelling and direct it towards the inner thigh, just like that. And those of you that are like, hey, how do I know if you have swelling in other places, you got to find, typically you want to know where the nodes are. I've seen all kinds of like this kind of typing, these sort of edema or swelling typing done. And this will work for uh, bruising and stuff of that nature as well. Uh, so there's no stretch, I should mention that as well. I've seen a whole bunch of different tapings in a direction that is not towards a node and to me if it's for photos and stuff like yeah okay that looks really like you can make this patterning look super cool and stuff but there's the form should follow the function or you're just making art at the same time it's like look at me look how cool I look does not look neat I'm so amazing I'm better than you Stuff like that. That's nonsense, right? So if you want to be serious, you want to you want to direct towards the nodes. And when I see people on the street and they're wearing this, or I see photos in professional, like um, the tape manufacturers, and they have like these weird designs going. Like they look cool. They're great for photos. But if they're heading towards, um, I'm just gonna go this way actually. So in the back, because you're gonna have swelling all through here as well, right? So I'm just going to kind of get that going a bit and across. I see weird directions where it's not towards a node and I'm like, what is that about? That doesn't make any sense. So you get this sort of waffle kind of print happening. Just kind of heading towards the back. Be careful of the very back of the knee. This is, it's very delicate, the, um, the skin there. So those of you that are like running and doing activities, like you're taping this stuff so you can continue doing stuff, although I don't know why you're doing that while you're swelling. But if it's a chronic swelling where it's always swelling, uh, knee replacement and stuff sometimes does this and things of that nature, then go ahead and do this and, you know, live your life, man. But um, hopefully this helps. But stay away from this area, just because if you're doing like back and forth, like you're swinging uh, the leg open, it, it tugs on the, the, the actual tape and it's, it's attached to the skin, right? So for example, you're running and it's like this, basically. Uh, just <laughs> those of you that are childish know what I'm about to joke about. But anyways, um, so you don't want to be like tug, 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 pulling the skin and then you get irritation and then it becomes really itchy. So I'm just not, I'm going to keep that open. I'm just going to go right on the edge here because you do want to address as much of the swelling as possible. There we go. And another black one for contrast. So this is the fourth. So these are just two strips and you can see how much more space. Now, like I said, there's no um, stretch on this stuff. So I'm just planting it and then I'm just going to follow it along like that. And then towards inner thigh. Oh yeah, so good. You can rub that in there. Just be careful not to catch an end because it takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes before it really sets and you get that adhesion. So that's, you can see I'm already doing like the outside of the knee. Now we're gonna do the inside. So this is a full, full demo. I'm not gonna let you guess what it is. I know some people kind of just you know, they get done and then they just kind of leave it. But well, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to show you the whole thing. So play along. And um, here we go. So I'm still going to take this and then bring it under the thigh. But I'm going to address more of this aspect. So the adductor uh, section. So we're going to kind of continue it. Hopefully you can see all this. And I'm just going to bring that around. inner thigh oh yeah I ain't judging what activities you do after this taping that's all I'm saying about that make sure you get the bottom of the swelling so I don't want to be right on top of that I want to be just below the swelling so if, you, if it's all this then you might want to go a bit lower and then make sure you get all of it so you might have to cut longer strips I don't have swelling to show you or else I would I'd show you like how how far 
but a lot of people plant like right on top. You want to be below the site. Oh. Those of you that are like, I'm going to see your underwear. It's like, I'm not wearing underwear. Just kidding. Shock value. That's what YouTube's about nowadays. So I'm just going to get behind there. There we go. Getting quite a bend in there now. So I'm going to kind of deviate for the next one a little bit. There we go. Inner thigh. And just once in a while, you can just pump that inguinal node. It's actually nodes. There's a group of them. So I got my knee kind of in a slightly flexed position. So as it goes like that, it's not exaggerated. And if you're running, you might want to have it more of a 90 degree so that as you kick up and you get the full range, this will be more, depending on how far, like if you're running, running where your legs are flying back, then you'll want to be more flexed. If you're just walking and stuff, then a slight bend is fine. Probably about 20% is um, considered neutral position. Oh, that's going way up there, way up there, son kind of like it uh, and then we've got the black ones here for the contrast so I'm just gonna zip over and bring it back whoops I oh, hope that one fell off I'm just gonna have to deal with it so I'm just gonna come across the front here let's see here what do we got I'm gonna follow oh no I totally don't goof that no it's fine it's fine I'm gonna recover no I'm making oh, okay don't do what I just did there. I'm not going to edit it out because real things happen in real life and uh, sometimes that's what it looks like. So slight bend in the knee. Once again, I don't want to cause aggravation. And if it doesn't look exactly like this, that's fine. There we go. Just slightly under. This is a really, usually on the sides of the knee I find are usually pretty angry, especially after a knee replacement. So this will help you with the recovery and just the comfort as well. Right on the uh, tibial tuberosity. Be cool. There we go. And just over, under, and then again towards the inguinal node. So that's what that looks like. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a pet because I can. Just wanna make sure that everything's sticking. So look for parts that are kind of not adhering and press that down. You could give it a little bit of a rub or you can use like a little bit of a, a hair dryer or something like that, add some heat uh, just to get the adhesion working. Okay, and as long as that feels good, some people are asking, how long can I keep it on for? So this is 10 to 15 minutes before you get pretty much, you can go do an activity. Um, so you wanna do this preemptively, like before an activity, if you're planning it. Uh, beyond that, uh, you wanna give it an hour before you get it wet. So if you know you're gonna get sweaty or you're going in the pool or something of that nature, give it an hour to set and then uh, you can go ahead and do it. Uh, usually the tapes rated for about three to five days if it feels good and it's not all coming apart then leave it on I've had tape on for seven days eight days if it's been good this is a more heavy duty area because of all the flexion and that goes on so it won't last quite as long if you get three days out of this that's a really good run uh, hell depending on what you're doing if you're doing a tough mutter if it lasts the event you're good so everything's uh, perspective uh, so I want you to keep perspective on that so there it is Stay away from this area. You can come around, I guess, a bit more if you want to make a few more little strips. You don't have to use just four strips, but this is pretty good. And there is the popliteal node here as well. So you can press in on the back of the knee, not hard. It's almost like you're just kind of just pressing like that. Okay, so six, it's usually eight to 12 times. So that's what I'm gonna suggest is textbook. Eight to 12 times. You pump that, do that like every hour. Or something like that and then inguinal node same thing karate chopping just press eight to twelve times that'll help clear it and then you'll see how this goes of course uh, elevation lift your legs up all that stuff um you know if it's first aid kind of stuff rice um 
follow that sort of formula for first aid. So if you need ice and that sort of thing, it's uh, five to ten minutes maximum. Don't just leave ice on there. That's just that doesn't. It's not how it works. It's first aid. Heat. If you wish, you can use heat up into where the the muscle is. If this is congested, don't use heat down here because you don't want to bring more stuff below. So it's always above the injury of the joint. So if the knee's the injured one, you want to have heat above that joint closest to the heart in order to help draw the fluid away. So you can put it on the quad and thigh like that. You can put a little heat pad or anywhere up, up uh, above that. So just keep that in mind, some little tips and tricks for you. Uh, if you found this helpful, please give it a like and um, it really helps the channel. Also, uh, like I said, if you want to support uh, the channel further, like really support it, monthly donations in the form of memberships. There are some perks as well. And uh, for the typing, if you want um, free shipping to Canada and uh, the US, there is a coupon code in the description. Uh, at checkout for uh, mobility type so adding value to your day uh, and subscribe um, and we'll have more videos coming out very soon uh, hopefully you guys have um, a good day we'll see you later